In South Korea, a guy named K has a fetish for being submissive. He gets into a relationship with his colleague, Cream, and starts doing roleplay in their office. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. In today's video, we will be recapping a 2022 Korean romance movie, Love and Leashes. Let's get right into it. The scene opens with K's first day in the office where he meets his boss and colleague, Cream. Today is K's first day in the office and the boss introduces him to the rest of the team. Everyone welcomes K, and they soon begin talking about their current project. K points out to his boss that they shouldn't associate their brand with the YouTuber they talked about, as he has made some homophobic comments in the past. However, the boss mentions that the YouTuber has many subscribers, so their educational content will reach a larger audience. K further argues and says they should wait and think more about casting the YouTuber as he might become a liability. Everyone liked his idea and the boss appreciates him. The boss then tells K and Cream to work together, and create a list of YouTubers they can potentially associate with their brand. Later, Cream is talking with her colleague and she reveals that everyone in the office is crushing over the new employee, K. Cream says she is interested in him too, but she is too shy to make the first move. Just then, K walks up to them and appreciates Cream for speaking against that YouTuber. Later at night, Cream's mother gives her some dating tips. She advises her to never ask out first, as it's a man's job to make the first move. The next day, K asks the security guard about a courier delivered in his name, but the guard reveals that someone else picked it up. Actually, Cream picked up his package thinking that it was hers. K panics upon hearing this, and immediately runs to get the package before she can open it. Unfortunately, he is a tad bit late and Cream finds a neck collar in the package. K swiftly snatches it, and says it is for his dog. Cream thinks this is too big for a dog, but K lies that his dog has a really thick neck. However while leaving, he accidentally drops the box, and Cream finds the coupon that says K nervously picks it up and the scene ends there. Later, K talks to his ex-girlfriend Hana about his situation. He is happy that no one knows about his fetish and Cream is not treating him any differently. He wonders if Cream has the same fetish as him. The following day, K is with his team deciding colors for their products. He goes to the storeroom to pick up something, and thanks Cream via text for not telling anyone about his secret. But before he could send it, he sees her outside, and starts to delete the message in panic. However, he accidentally ends up sending the message, and hides behind a toy. Cream enters the storeroom and asks who is it, but Kay bumps his head and falls down. She takes the toy off and sees that it's Kay. She immediately takes him to the doctor. Later, they come out of the hospital, and Kay thanks her for keeping his secret to herself. Cream also apologizes for bossing up on him at work, but Kay misunderstands this, and thinks that she has the same fetish. He says that he is happy to find someone like her, and requests her to become his master. Cream realizes that he misunderstood her, and he also, the neck collar he bought was for himself. Cream goes home and starts researching them on Google. She learns about the DNS relationship, which happens between one dominant, and one submissive person. The one who gives orders is called the Dom, and the one who obeys is called the Sub. She then explains the entire situation to her friend, Haimi. Haimi suggests that she should play dumb, and give Kay some more time. The following day, Cream meets Kay at an office event, and acts like everything is normal. However, she later finds him near a car, crying. Kay confesses that he likes her, but now she thinks of him as a creep due to everything that happened between them. And only his ex-girlfriend Hana knows about his fetish, who dumped him because of it. To Kay's surprise, Cream reveals that she was just giving him space, and everyone has their fetishes. He gets excited hearing it, and asks Cream to become his master. Cream nervously says no, so Kay leaves from there. The following day at the office, Cream sees some girls flirting with Kay and feels jealous. She texts him immediately, and invites him to the lounge. There, she asks him to put on a blindfold and asks why did he want her to be his master. Kay replies that he has never met someone like her. Someone who does not care what others think and acts however they want to. Lastly, Cream agrees to try out this D&S relationship with him and asks him to stop avoiding her now. After their meeting, Cream goes home and starts researching more about this relationship. She reads articles on how to be a good master, whereas Kay is delighted to have a master like Cream. He gets a nightmare of Hana breaking up with him, and jerks awake from his sleep. Later, he meets Cream in the office, and she sets up rules for their relationship. She also gives him a pair of glasses, as having a gift from his master will always make Kay feel dominated. This is one of the things she learned online. After that, Kay starts serving Cream and they decide to conduct at least one play per week. They also agree to not indulge in sexual activities without consent. For their first play, they check in into a hotel. Cream orders him to wear the neck collar, and tells him that their first play would be dog play. She treats Kay like a dog, which makes him really happy. 
she feeds him while he barks like a dog. Then in the office, Cream asks Kay if he was hurt during yesterday's play. Kay says don't worry, and insists that he will plan the next play. At their play, Kay has bought a cake for her as he wants to be the first one to celebrate his master's birthday. He has also bought a pair of red heels, which fit perfectly. Cream asks if she should step on him and he agrees. Kay bends and she slowly steps on him. Even though it is hurting Kay, he seems to be enjoying the play a lot. After a while, Kay goes home and sees the wounds on his back caused by the heels. On the other hand, Hamie advises Cream to officially ask out Kay, but she refuses as it would be an abuse of power. After some time during an office meeting, their boss introduces them to the new intern, Lee Han. A colleague suggests that Lee Han should work under Cream, so he can get a feel of things around here. The boss also agrees as according to him, if someone can work under Cream, they can work under anyone. Cream assigns several tasks to Lee Han, which makes Kay feel slightly jealous as his master is giving orders to someone else. After that, Cream visits a shop to buy some instruments for their play. In this week's play, Kay lies in the bathtub with his mouth shut, while Cream drops hot wax on his back. We see that they have started doing more and more plays while working in the office. As time passes by, their plays get more and more intense, and Kay starts to get even more jealous of Lee Han. He tries to threaten him in the washroom, but Lee Han gets a call, so he leaves immediately. One day, Kay decides to talk things out with Cream. He explains that she acts like Han's master and this is making him jealous. However, she decides to punish him for saying this, and closes the door. She orders him to undo his belt and then hits him with it. Kay doesn't feel satisfied with this and requests her to punish him even more. Cream does exactly that and pushes him out of the room while she curses him for all the things in their office. She even breaks someone's back scratcher in anger and Kay is thrilled to see it. Suddenly, a security guard comes there, so the two hide immediately. They manage to sneak out without being seen, and tell each other that they really enjoyed today's play. At home, we see that Cream is starting to catch feelings for Kay. They conduct their next play in a professional setting, where they dress up as Dom and Sub, and she hits him with a hunter. She later addresses his wounds and asks if he really enjoys this pain. Kay says yes, as this is just who he is. After a while, Cream takes him to a cafe and reveals they are here for their next play. She handcuffs herself to Kay, and tells him that they'll be spending the entire day like this. Meanwhile, Hamie also meets a guy she is supposed to go on a date with. Kay and Cream sit together for some food and she feeds him with her hands. Surprisingly, she asks Kay out on a date. After thinking for a while, he says no as he can't date his master. Meanwhile, Hamie has gone to a private room with a guy. The guy immediately takes off his belt and aggressively asks if she wants him to hit her. Seeing no way out, she calls Cream and gives away her address. They immediately get into their car and reach the hotel. But surprisingly, Hamie has already taken control of the situation and she has the guy tied. She threatens to leak his photos if he did anything after today. Now, Hamie confesses that she posted a request online, as she too wanted to try a DNS relationship. At night, Cream regrets asking out Kay, and Kay is again having a nightmare about his breakup with Hana. After months of dating, he revealed his DNS fetish, so Hana called him a pervert and left him. After some time, the two decide to conduct their final play as their three-month contract is about to end. Cream prepares some ropes, as their final play will be done soon. During the play, she binds Kay and starts slapping him. Then she leans in for a kiss and the two start kissing each other. But Kay gets a little too aggressive, so she pushes him away. Cream starts crying after this and says she doesn't even know what she is doing. Kay apologizes and she releases him. He tries to convince her to stay, but she leaves. One evening, Cream receives a call from Han, telling her to check the mail. She checks the mail and finds an audio recording of the play they conducted in the office. Apparently, someone recorded the audio of their play and now everyone has heard it. During the disciplinary hearing, the officials ask them what exactly is their relationship, while mocking them. The official goes on to crack more humiliating comments about their relationship, so Kay says that's enough. He says he likes Cream and he would like to go out with her. He says that all of them should be ashamed of themselves and then asks out Cream. Cream says that they will apologize for their indecency in the office and will carry on with their relationship outside. The two then leave the room, outside. Cream says that they should renew their contract as now they'll date each other alongside their DNS relationship. At the end of the movie, they release their boss's personal chats in the office, and the audio gets heard by everyone. Kay and Cream enjoy their lives together after that, and the scene ends there. That was it for the recap guys. Let us know in the comments if you like it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.